Panera. You see the bread with the cheddar. I ain't in the love letters. Send a check with a Hey y'all. Okay, so this little DIY project was kind of difficult. I didn't really um, size up how it was going to work because, like I said, it was my first time doing this. So the um, the cons that I got out of this was probably not to use hot glue because um, I noticed when I did um, try to like fit it, try it on, and actually change for the day of, I popped a lot of the um, petals off. So when I did the photo shoot, I had to go back in and um, actually cover some pieces up. So yeah, I wonder what would have been a better option than hot glue. Or maybe if I would have used um, probably not a stretchy type of material or probably worked on a material that was a size bigger than um, the size I wear. Like I, I used exact, my exact size panty and bra and it didn't give me any room to work with. But yeah. As you guys can see, I'm really just applying the hot glue and applying the petals, making sure the petals um, are faced up. The back of the petals had a different texture and the front of the petals actually had like a hair texture. Um, I really like these petals from Michaels because they resembled real life petals. They were really cute. Um, when you guys see the photo shoot, the photo shoot petals were a little different. But I know the photographer is so amazing. When he edits the photos, you won't be able to tell. But yeah. So um, another thing that I found really tricky was actually applying the rosebuds. I know when I looked at some of the um, videos where the inspirational pictures and videos I found off Pinterest where they had like smaller rose heads that probably would have worked better if I would have found um, like a bunch of mini roses instead of trying to make these big um, roses fit and then actually spread them out to make them look flat. I think if I would have used smaller roses, it would have gave me the look I wanted. But this look was more of like a wild rose, and it was really cute, y'all. But um, yeah, you see me burning myself applying the petals. I just wanted to make sure I gave y'all um the gist of actually doing this DIY, just in case you want to achieve it for yourself. This is really cute. I want to say like I know girls do it for maternity look with the flower petals and stuff. I know Paris Hilton did it. It was kind of iconic then. That's where I got my um, muse from. But yeah. Yeah, so the photo shoot, it was really, it was really fun. Mind you, I have so much going on in my real life that, like, when I set plans to do something fun, like, I'm like, huh, I really don't, like, I kind of talk myself out of it. Like, I really don't deserve it or, like, I have other things to focus on. But the photo shoot really was great. I'm happy that. I push myself to go no matter that um it's a little tricky to see it through but i did it and i um, had an amazing connection with the photographer so i can't wait to work with them again it was amazing like i wasn't expecting um to be so comfortable i haven't shot in almost like eight months i haven't been in front of a camera in like eight months and it was easy for me to get comfortable um and just like get into the scene i'm mad i did not bring my second outfit i know um if y'all seen the beginning uh, the first part of the diy i put in there that i wanted a more classy look to go with the kind of sexual look but i did not bring it and like i said it was a lot going on so i'm just happy that the diy outfit that i did made was able to be captured because that was like the main thing so yeah and then what else what else could i say oh yeah my um my bottom was out and i was like uh, please don't get that on camera like make sure you don't get that on camera i'm trying to stuff roses down there make sure it's covered because it was just coming out but i do say i do like it i do i did like it it was really cute i probably will never wear it again but yeah it was worth it mm -hmm.